Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay, and, and we, we are, are Para DJ. DJ. And welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. <laughs> I've been thinking that. <laughs> we are in Manhattan, Proper. New York City. But we're getting ready to head out because we gotta leave. We can't stay here. We no. are getting on Norwegian Prima for an 11 day, I guess, repositioning cruise headed to Canada and Iceland. It's our first transatlantic cruise. That's true. I'm excited and so ready to see all of these fun new places. Yes, first time ever going to <laughs> Europe as well. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of firsts this time. Not first time on Prima. No. We were on Prima for Thanksgiving this mm -hmm. past year and you might want to binge that series because we'll probably reference things or forget to mention things that we mentioned in that Prima series. But we'll try and be thorough. We'll try to cover it again. <laughs> so anyway, 11 days. Yes. We're getting ready to Uber Lyft over to, we're in the actual Manhattan cruise terminal is where we're coming out of. So. Yep. And I'm so ready for sail away because it's going to be beautiful. Oh yeah. Yes. All right, let's get this started. Come on. Let's do it. Bye. Bye. dropped our bags off here at Pier 88 and we are heading in for check-in. All right, first step, security. Oh, interesting, they're separating us out by deck. United Sandwiches of America, wow. Oh, we are boarding group number 18. Oh, we are through the check-in process and heading on to board. Steps on board a transatlantic cruise. Oh, they're checking everybody's muster stations. Ours is B, the atrium. I also see signs for luggage storage. So we've entered on deck six. Looks like luggage storage is actually on deck seven. And our muster station is deck eight. So up we go. I think we'll begin with luggage storage. Welcome to the improv. That was a line for spa services. All right, now welcome to the improv. All right, there's nobody in here, but we have honor system checked our bags and tagged them, and we are ready to continue. Hoo -hoo. Now, let's muster the energy to muster. There's our muster station area. And done. That was quick and easy. Oh, I guess we're not going out on that open deck. Oh, we found another door. Aha, success. Oh, all this art, that's right. So the doors by the photo gallery were our winners today. We're gonna continue in an afterwardly direction. Well, a really good time to check out the ship while it is still quiet. What is that little thing? Oh, the walkway with the beds. These are the dry slides. Are they dry? Yeah. Oh. I think I'd remember this. It's been like almost six months since we came on the ship. Taking pictures of New York. Oh yeah, as a skyline bask. Like totally forgot half the reason we love sailing out of New York is just the skyline. Statue of Liberty sail away. Ooh, that's a cool chill spot. And you have these infinity pools hanging off the side. Well, they're not really hanging off the side, are they? They are in fact on the side of the ship. No. Seems like a safety concern. Oh. Was it closed? I don't think so. We never so. got to look at it. We didn't. Last time. There were always people in them. Yeah, no, there's. That's interesting. Right, it's like literally it. open, other than a tiny, tiny little. Huh. All right. Y'all just don't be stupid. <laughs> Stay in the pool. Don't, don't, do don't sit on the edge and do dumb things. Let us indulge. That sounds delicious. Well, the outdoor seating is completely full. I have a feeling the indoor is going to be delightful. Well, they got bar seats, which we learned if you sit at the bars, you can only order from that one particular establishment. Success! The assistant cruise director making announcements. Well, they brought us glasses of ice water. We've got our ordering tablet at the ready and silverware and napkins are on the table. We love this little thing because you can order, see there's the garden, the Latin Quarter, noodles, barbecue, rotisserie, Indian food, yes please. 
tapas, the desserts is a uh, upcharge. And you've got all your beverages and all that stuff. So you just tap, 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 boom, food comes to your table. And then the orders show up as each station brings them. So first up is the chips and guac. Uh, you see the Latin Quarter station is this Airstream trailer right over here. So that makes sense. That came up first. You've got another little, it's like a collection of food trucks up here and they each prepare individually. Does that make sense? That makes sense. <laughs> All right, the food has fully arrived. I have got chicken tikka from the Indian station. There's some Singapore street noodles, fried okra from Q. D also got some fried okra. What was that? Kale remained solid and I added black and tuna. Nice. Okay. And then, you know, the chips and guac still. Wow, y'all. Okay. Ooh, cocos. Anyway, we are wondering. Oh, first we're going to take a peek at their tandoor ovens because they have actual tandoor ovens. Okay, now we're wondering. Uh, back through the local, the bar side of the local. All right, we're using one of these kiosks by the elevator lobby to check out our entertainment options. Oh, yeah, you just poke day by day, I guess. Nothing. No. Nothing. Uh, hmm. Oh, maybe that's not. Oh, not working. Gotcha. Are okay. they still uploading it? So we can't do that yet. Not yet. All right, downward we go. Ooh, good old Metropolitan. Ah, uh, this was our go-to hangout spot last time we were on Prima. Usually pretty quiet, sometimes with live music. The new stateroom is on deck 16, 15, 12, or 9. You can now move into your cabin and get ready for vacation. Ooh, let's grab our bags. Woohoo. Success. And now, elevators. I'm going to go Haven Private Access. All right, we're up here to the left. Not this time. Wahoo! So we are officially in the cabin. It is time. Look, we have a balcony. Dee's already checking out that skyline back there. It's beautiful. Let's tour it. So let's start here at the door. We've got all the safety information up there. Oh, is this extra pillows? Nice little hangy closet zone. Uh, it's got the water that we ordered to the cabin in their little sort of cardboard cases. Storage down there. Um, you do have to put your uh, card in in order to activate the light switch. Oh, is our little thermostat? What's up? I can never, <laughs> I can never make it go when I want to. There it is. So you got do not disturb. Makeup room, warm or colder. Ooh, it's set to pretty warm right now. I might change that actually. Over here we have, oof, the restroom. Let's, oh, I forgot about the door doesn't stay open. Okay, let's turn the light on. Yeah, it's got that weighted door, which is not my favorite. Um, so nice little toileting zone over there. We've got some art. Three um shelves over there to put stuff on. Nice counter space though. Like a lot of times, oh, and you even have storage down below. Hard to find good uh, counter space. Glass door shower over there, but we'll dig into all that later. Hey, what's up? So across from the bathroom, we do have, oh gosh, hard to open. There we go. Closet, we got a couple of little pull-out drawers down there. All kinds of nice little hangy space. Oh, this is one of those convertibles that you can just kind of do that. Probably will, because we like taller hanging zones, I would say. And then if I close this and open this one, full length mirror there, obviously. Oh, we have a whole nother section over here with the safe. Hangy stuff. Very nice. So hooks on the wall here by the bathroom. Oh, here's where they keep their D's. Look at this beautiful sofa. It's lovely. Nice. So much space. We've got some uh, geodes and stuff over there. Lots of geology. Nice bed looking out to the balcony. TV. Look at all this space, though. I'm always amazed how big the rooms are. This is like dance class worthy. Oh my gosh, we got like what? Um. Excuse me. Is that us? That's what I thought they said. Welcome chocolates and like some stuff. We got fruit. Here's our daily paper. This is our loyalty water here. So these are the ones we didn't buy. The other ones are the ones we bought. A couple of shelves. A nice vanity mirror. Oh, what are we working with down here? That should be a little friggy. Gosh, there's a lot of horns going off out there. Security guide. Okay, a little drawer. A little um, 
sort of a seat that you could just carry around with your hair dryers down here, which is interesting. Trash can. I just have to ignore all these horns. Some nice drawers. Uh, we do have USB and USB-C and regular power right by the bed. Amazing. That is amazing. I'll come over here and see if I have the same thing. Take a little peek at that. <laughs> this is classic New Yorker what? Horns? Sirens? Yeah. Um, I, on my side, have the USB and USB-C, but no traditional power outlet, I don't believe. Let's look back there. Nope, no traditional power outlet on my side, but my stuff lives at the desk anyway. A little uh, storage. And looking out on the balcony, we've got chair, table, chair. Cute. I like it. Cap and spin. Do you like all this New York ambiance? So fun sailing out of here. You just get it's all very the very lively, <laughs> all the lively activity. Yeah, but um, I guess we're gonna settle in. Oh, let's look at the power solutions by the desk because I forgot to do that. Um, yeah, settle in. No suitcases yet, but I'm sure they'll be forthcoming. Mm -hmm. So over here we have two like 110, 120 style outlets, and over here we have a whole one of those, a USB C, a USB, and like a 220. It's a lot of power. Oh yeah, I forgot to specifically point out, I think you have two drawers over here on your side, and I just have like a little, uh, let's see if I can get here so it's not so dark. Yeah, a little single storage area. What's that back there? Is that a power outlet? Oh, something's plugged into it. <laughs> well, here's what all that commotion was. Apparently Norwegian Joy is docking right next to us right now. They are still sliding into position. I don't know if they have a port call well, today. It, yeah, it's pretty late. Oh. oh well, they're here now. So whether it's a port call or, you know, a embarkation, debarkation, I'm not entirely sure. It was just in Florida. I'll have to look. Well, they're still running suitcases and supplies and stuff down there at the port for our ship. We notice most of the balconies do not have like a direct look down onto the ocean. Walk. Not bad, yeah. This little walk around thing down here. But besides that, we don't have a bad view, I'd say. It was just an upgrade bid balcony. True, we booked an interior bid on a uh, balcony. We got it. They were midship, which is a lovely yeah, judging by the fact that no one is on like a single balcony over there, I think this ship might be coming in empty and it's only crew coming into New York right now. So maybe a like an Yeah, like an unsold repositioning to jump into a transatlantic or something, yeah. Well, I believe we will post up and have a live stream here from the balcony. Might as well, yeah, kill some time and uh I guess we'll see you after the live stream. Probably be close to sail away and dinner by that point. I think our sail away is five o'clock. Yeah! We have just finished about an hour of live streaming. We can hear the sail away party has kicked up. We live two decks below the pool deck. You can hear it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's kicked up up there. I think we'll run up. We should be sailing hopefully within a half an hour or so and yeah. Go take in all those beautiful skyline views. Right. Yeah. Do I look like a dork with glasses and glasses? <laughs> Am I allowed to say yes? Yeah. I think legally I have to say no. That's right. So you know. You are a smart husband. <laughs> Let's jump up to 17. Yeah, there's not really a great place to overlook the pool, so we'll just chill out down here. Ooh, let's see what happens if we go to 18, actually. I forgot, there's a little gate that stops you from being able to go look over the pool deck. Well, maybe we can get some good views from up here. Well, the sun deck is cool anyway. A splashy splash zone. Well, let's go to 19, shall we? We're gonna try to find all these good views. This is a sun deck, as well as being the wave water slide entrance. You can get a few peeks down on the pool deck from here, sort of. We got the go-kart track back there. We can just listen to all this bass boom boom. Yeah, 
here are our official views off this side of the ship so we can see parts of the ship we're up at the front so when this turns we should have the skyline sail away so we have found a couple of deck chairs here on the sun deck and we are relaxing or we're de-laxing as it were <laughs> exciting things are happening well we are officially on the move away from the pier Goodbye, Manhattan. We will see you. Well, this is a one-way cruise, um, but we will see you in about a month. You can still hear the party going on a couple of decks below us a little bit. Look at us making that turn. We're going to put our booty out here into the river. And we'll be on the building side for this part of the sail away. Here, Joy honking back at us. We're in an empire state of mind. <laughs> Here's some helicopter tours or something. any uh, Statue of Liberty views, but we might run down to our cabin because our balcony faces that way. Let's jump back in here, shall we? <gasps> and we have suitcases here. This is amazing. All right, here we go. Here is our sunny view off of our side. Oh, we are coming up on Ellis. Sorry. Statue of Liberty. Y'all, we made the right call to come have a private little sail in. Just us and the travel flirts. Hey! <laughs> Mel and Carolyn. <laughs> so let's get some zoomies in on some of these buildings. I think that is the ferry terminal we've determined. Nice. Surface of the sun hot out here. <laughs> Look at everybody down there. I don't remember what you call the uh, the walkway. We walked on it. It has a name. It does. It's called the. Hey, I'm scared. Don't Just go out here. Down. That's cool. There, of course, we have Ellis Island. Now oh, this is some high quality sail away, I tell you. And look at everybody out enjoying this sail away. It's been too long since we had Manhattan sail away. I mean, that's. Jersey over there, I'm pretty sure, but close enough. <laughs> there is our first sunny shot of Lady Liberty. I'll have to get a better angle on her after we pass. Hey, lady, makes me think of Ghostbusters 2 every time. Give your love dipped in me higher. <laughs> we can't quite see to the bridge. I think we're gonna have to make a little left hand turn. There's a little bit better angle. I've kind of lightened it up to blow out the sky in the background, but at least we can see the Lady Liberty. Now we are going to retreat back to the inside because this sun is no joke. <laughs> well, there goes the bridge. I was in the shower getting ready for dinner, and he's like, hey, a bridge is going by the balcony. So, hey, give me a little peek at it. Good evening. Good evening. We are ready for fresh and clean dinner mode. Let's do it. <laughs> I think we're going to MDR it up. Yeah. Um, Hudson's probably. There's a system where you go in and you can make reservations now. I'm not used to having to make dinner reservations on Norwegian. Free style. Is that new? I don't even know. I don't know because we even did it on Spirit, mm -hmm. which is a smaller ship, so maybe. Weird. But as far as I remember, we can just go stand in line. And if they're super busy, I think they give you a pager or something. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to head back to Metropolitan. Yes. Yeah some food y'all it's the menu that doesn't change That's but right. there's a lot of options so i'm excited Let's yeah <laughs> woohoo express nice Dixon. oh i hear tunes in metropolitan <laughs> I think we're looking at about a 30 or 40 minute wait from what I'm overhearing, but we're gonna see if we can get up here and get that pager. Oh, we found some seats in Metropolitan, so we'll listen to a tune or two. It's me. 
it, but if you have a special request. Our buzzer has gone off, so we have joined the main line here at Hudson's to get our table. Welcome back to Hudson's. Ooh, very nice. Oh, we're scanning down the dinner menu, and this does not look like the dinner menu we had last time we were on Prima, which is interesting, because they had introduced the concept of a menu that was the same every night that didn't change. Wow. Well, interestingly enough, one of the members of our table accidentally got the kosher menu which has the breakfast lunch and dinner on it i've never thought to even look at or ask for a kosher menu but hey that's some good intel right there isn't it accidental information we've got cranberry walnut rolls in this basket and you know some other stuff that is probably just as good as a cranberry walnut roll but look at that wow dessert menu ooh la la blueberry cheesecake that's good for a sugar free oh. oh we are done with the dinner Whew. we are going to wander down to deck 6 perhaps whoa what is this magical place we survived. Oh, did they have? Oh, they have put stuff in the uh, thing now. So sold out for tomorrow, Donna Summer. Oh, well, maybe there's not a lot happening. It kind of kind of wants to be stuck. There are no fish to follow on this ship, but the colored triangles do show you as you're walking forward. So that works. Boom. Good, Good evening. Night. Oh, it is night. <laughs> Forgot you. Night. Good night. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're losing an hour tonight, so transatlantic. Have to get ourselves on um, Canadian time. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll say Atlantic daylight time, so because we're going to Canada like first. Midnight ish. Yeah, it's late. That's okay. Um, we had a pretty relaxed, chill day. Yeah. Hanging out. Um, dinner. Um, I'll say getting into dinner and getting through dinner took a hot minute. Yeah. By the time we got through, because there was some stuff we were thinking about going to at Sid Norman's and all that, but by the time um, dinner was done, there was no time. Well, dinner didn't take long. It was just getting in. Like, the pace of dinner, I think, was normal. Yeah. Um, Vanessa, our mm, she was great. server there, she was absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. The sweetest, like, one of the sweetest we've ever had, honestly. Yeah. So good. So we just went to the adult arcade, yeah. and it was all right. And now <laughs> we're going to bed. <laughs> Yeah, so we missed all the shows and stuff, but you yeah. can't film them anyway, so you guys don't know. Oh, that's Sorry. true. Yeah, we went to every show. We, we could just have filmed couldn't record it. Yeah. We have time. It's okay. Yeah, we got 10 more days. Yeah. Holy moly. Yay. Let's go ahead and dish on the dinner. Yes. Um, people have started sending me new suggestions, so I will actually have to make a list and start using those. Whoa, the f we just brightened up like ghosts. <laughs> so you started off with a shrimp cake. This was delicious. I do not recall ever having it before, but it was like whole pieces of shrimp, nothing like mealy or like filling or anything. it was just really well put together and then had like kind of like pickled uh, cucumbers on top and a remoulade. Oh. It was delicious. Wow. Looks like some dill in there. It was delicious. Or dill, yeah. <laughs> I had seafood gumbo. I don't know what color I thought gumbo was. For some reason in my brain, gumbo was red, but this was not red, but it was um, really good. Red beans and rice. Yeah, all the, <laughs> true. All the flavors were great. Uh, very seafoody and very hearty. Yeah. Me hearties. I would eat. Yeah, I get that again. You had Greek salad. Very good. Bright, refreshing. Uh, lots of feta cheese. I don't eat the red onions, but other than that, really good. <laughs> yeah, and as we learned, that is a traditional Greek yeah. salad without the lettuce and all that stuff in it. I had some crab and ch cream cheese wontons, technically. Oh. Oh, super seafoody. Like, if you don't like seafood, sometimes you can get a wonton and it's very delicate. These were boom. A crab, I think, actually punched me in the face on one of my bites. It was, had a little sharp little crab. pincher. Uh, <laughs> they were really good, too. The sauce was a little thin. I like a nice little thick, thick stick sauce. But um, I liked them overall. Pretty much everything I got, I'm going to get it again. Yeah. You, all right, now here's the thing. <laughs> 
You ordered the shrimp, shrimp scampi. scampi, but we believe you got uh, the shrimp, shrimp fettuccine, fettuccine which is on their like everyday menu, which is delicious. Don't get me wrong, and I didn't even realize it was the wrong thing until I was like three or four uh, bites in. But you know what? It was so good, it didn't mm. matter. But if you get the scampi, it's like an artichoke and lemon. It's really good. Damn. This was good too, though, so no complaints. I'm curious to see, like, is this the new fixed menu, or has Prima just decided to go to rotational menus? I think well, it's going to rotate. We'll have to learn. Yeah. Not tomorrow, because we're not going to the MDR, no. but we'll learn eventually. Ah, here's the sad point of my oh, dinner. No. I got the beef medallions. Now, the flavors on everything was excellent. I love a good broccoli. I love a good french fry. The mushroom gravy was great. Mistake. Both of the pieces were tough. I could barely get through them with a steak mm -hmm. knife. You chew them. They don't really even chew. I pretty much just had to clump, clump, clump them around and just swallow it, it whole. I mean, I didn't ask for any, you know, send it back or anything because I feel like, I don't know, it tasted good. It looked like it was cooked well. It, it was. Yeah. I cut it open. It was because they didn't ask what doneness I wanted. And it was like a nice medium inside. It just it's was the not. cut, I guess. Yeah. yeah. It were tough. <laughs> But it tasted good. Just cut it in smaller pieces. I could deal with it. You had the strawberry shortcake. Really good, like a light pound cake, I would say, with strawberry sauce and whipped cream. Um, not overly sweet, which was delicious, mm. and a good portion. Nice. I had honey creme brulee. Now, I'm not normally a creme brulee man. And the custard in this creme brulee was a little bit loose. It was just on the loose side of perfect. Uh, but everything about it was good. Nice and sweet. Good honey flavor. Um, <laughs> Hey, for not liking creme brulee or not, you know, it's not that I don't like creme brulee. It's not what you're go to. There's normally stuff on the menu I like better than creme brulee, but it was good overall. So, y'all, yeah. yeah, successful dinner. Very good. Once we got in, and it was like an hour wait to get in, so it yeah. wasn't terrible. My thinking on that is because everybody watched Sail Away, mm. and people knew that we had this cool Sail Away. They did not book specialty with a free at sea. Everybody tried to go to the dining room. So, I think from here on out, maybe the wait won't be as long. <laughs> we'll see. Time will tell. Yep. Anyway, well, right now we're going to tell time to go forward an hour. Yes. And go to bed. Good night. So we'll see you tomorrow from a C day. Bye. Bye.